Hey guys, so uh, today I'm going up to the hospital to have a blood sample taken. Um, I'm testing out some new medicine, it would hopefully will work on me. Um, but uh, before I start that medicine, I need to have a blood sample taken so they can see the before and after. So I'm heading up to do that in a minute shortly. Um, but first, I need to pop down to Bruzen, which is the shop locally where we live, and pick up a package because my 16 gigs of RAM for my computer came. So that is going to be so nice. I'm I. I hope it's going to be such a big change that I'm really going to be happy um, because they were a little bit expensive but I'm going from 4 up to 16 so that's going to be hopefully a, a lovely change and it will allow me to do more than just well, as soon as I edit or render my videos that I can do more than just that I can have like another program going at the same time or something like that Oh yeah I didn't show you guys it's actually raining we desperately need it so that's fine I'm just pumping down to Brooklyn to get my RAM and then off to the hospital So I've just been at the hospital. Unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to film in there. Uh, I did ask them to say, can I film it? Can I film it? I get my arm pierced, <laughs> oh my, get the needle in and all that. You can see I have that right there. Um, and it wasn't only a blood sample. They also took my EKG or EGK. I can't remember which way it is though. But that's where they put all these patches on all of your body and uh, attach these wires to see how your whole um, heart and all that goes. Um, so they did that. It was very good. And... Um, for those of you who ask, probably, did it hurt? I said, no, it doesn't hurt to get um, get the uh, blood sample taken. I mean, it depends on how good the doctor is. Some doctors are not very good, uh, or nurses are not very good at hitting the vein straight away. Apparently, she hit mine, and then I, wasn't, I didn't feel any pain at all. Um, then again, also, I think it's combined with me not having a fear of needles. I am not afraid of needles. Um, and probably judging also with me having my stretches and my piercing in my nose and all that. But right now I'm going home to take my new RAMs and put them in the computer. I got them right here. I'll show you guys. Mac Memory Corsair. So that's 16 gigs of RAM. So I really hope that's going to change my computer's um, performance. Which is going to be awesome! Untangle all the screws. So let's see if we can get this open. I'm just going to put you guys over here. Oh, that's really, really dusty inside. Crazy. You guys see all that? All that dust. Crazy. Well, I know what to do. Gotta clean my computer. There we go. The fan's all nice and cleaned right now, which is great. And I'm about to change the RAM, so I just lifted one plug out. Those are my two gig there. And also another two gig here. So, everything is cleaned off and ready to be put back together. I'm going to put the lid back on now. And uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome to see how the new RAM is going to work. But this is the old ones. I'm going to put them somewhere safe in case someone could maybe need them or something like that. We don't know. But I'm um, just going to clean the lid and then I'm going to be popping that on. And we'll boot the beast up and see if it starts. Now let's try and put it on and see if it works. The fan should be much quieter as well. Well, it does boot, so let's hope it says that I got 16 gigs of RAM in it. Now, let's just have a look in here and see if we are lucky to track 16 gigs of memory. It's just loading right now, it's, the whole thing is just booting up. About this Mac, and I would be very pleased if it comes and tell me that I have 16 gigs of RAM. Still booting all my stuff. <laughs> yep. You guys see it? 16 gigs of 1333 megahertz DDR3 RAM. So that is sweet. Um, I should be feeling a very big change in the performance of the computer and also I should be able to run more things and it shouldn't overheat that quick either. It doesn't overheat but it don't. It shouldn't get that warm so quickly. So yeah, that is really, really cool. Best thing is the fans are very quiet now. They needed a clean, and I did a complete clean. I took the fans apart as well. Uh, don't do that unless you know what you're doing. Um, if you want to do it and you got a MacBook, ask your parents to help you and look up some videos on YouTube just to make sure you don't ruin anything, because that would be really, really sad. 
Do a tail whip. Do a tail whip. <laughs> What's up, Sebastian? I think that's creepy. So right, guys, you know I'm wearing an, a knee pad right now. And Sebastian came in and sat down, and he slammed the scooter over my leg. And I was screaming in my brain. I was like, what? Have you got a knee pad there? No, it's the other leg. <laughs> so it's just like, ow! <laughs> I wasn't that bad. It was just the fact. But if you had done it quick, like, I would have heard. But yeah, we're not that many people up here today. It's too warm, even though it's looking like rain outside soon. But I hope it's going to stay dry because I'm going to take Sally, go for a long run. Um, I'm going to go into some scooter and slash skating right now, so I'll see you guys a little bit later inside. <laughs> Sweating like a P.I.G. Yeah, um, just chilling here right now, and well, we're actually closing off now. You can see it's getting dark, and everybody's left. It's only me and Lester closing off. And I go home, but it's pouring down outside now, so I was supposed to take Sally for a long walk or run. But I don't think it'll be that long now if it's pissing down like that, but I do want to take her out. Angry Lester. <laughs> and I'm laying on the cold, hard ground. <laughs> ground. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. All right. Um, ah -ha -ha -ha. Another mum mum. Someone else forgot a phone. Whenever someone forget their phone, we used to call them and uh, look at the phone and find the number of mum or dad, and we always call them. Your phone is out here. Uh, we already done one today, which is up there. <laughs> So, yeah, we're gonna find another one. Just switch to the sound off. Immediate happening, isn't Whoa. it? Yep, it's still raining, and this is a massive good hill. If you are a long border, this would be fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going home now. I'm taking another way this time because there's some road work uh, if I go through town. When I call someone if I'm driving, I always put the phone underneath the seat belt on my chest and put it on speaker so I can talk to them because I, we haven't got hands free in this car. It's a very old car. But, um,. When this sits on my chest, am I the only one? I guess I'm very sensitive, maybe. But if I have a mobile phone touch me somewhere, I can feel the signal and it's irritating me. It's not comfortable at all. It's like sometimes if I've been using my phone and I'm watching TV on the sofa and just put it down on my stomach, I can't leave it there. I can feel the signal annoying me. Um, so I guess, I don't know, maybe I'm just very sensitive. Um, and also, the only place which wonders with me how come I don't feel it when I speak like this um, but I do feel it um, if I put on my leg if it's on my lap uh, my lap when I um, do something or something like that I can still feel it it's like it feels annoying it feels like something's going on it's not comfortable and I don't even have to touch I can just put it just above it takes a few seconds and I will sense where it is um, we did a test once well, one of my friends, I said to him, I can feel it. No, you can't. So I said, fine, close your eyes. And so I closed my eyes, and um, he held the mobile phone just above me uh, several places, and each time I spotted directly where it was. So I do believe there's something dangerous about it in, a long, in the long run, but not. Um, it's not something we're going to be completely panicking about. <sighs> Hello. Are you all wet? <laughs> I took Sally out for a walk when I came back. Um, it wasn't raining too much, so she was alright. It was a bit like, nah, I don't really like the rain, but if I have to, I have to. And she needs to go out, so she came out, did a wee and a poo, and that's fine. Um, been using my computer a little bit now, with the new RAM in it, the 16 gigs of RAM, and boy, what a change. Um, I can have so many things open at the same time, without any problems. And, um... Yeah, it's just very, very nice that everything runs smoothly and I don't have to worry about um, everything crashing or I can't use my computer for anything else if i got one thing going. So that really is a nice, nice thing. About last night when I said that I like to get, um, I like to trade for a penny board and long board, just to make sure you guys knew that I actually meant a real long board, a full-size long board and also a full-size penny. Um, if it's a penny or a nickel, it doesn't really matter. Um, I, I just think that the penny would be nice because it's a cool little deck and it's easy to bring around with you. But so is a nickel. It's only about, what, five inches longer? So, yeah. Uh, but I would like them to be in nice condition. Um, of course, it's alright if it has a little scratch or something like that. But if it's completely scratched and dented and all that and maybe something broken under trucks, and I'm not really interested. But if it's in fully working order and looks very nice and almost like in mint condition, perfect, let's find something out, that would be awesome. 
Uh, but anyways guys, I'm going to be testing out how my computer is going to be running now. I'm going to open the video editing program. So um, let's have a look at that. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So take good care. I love you all. You're awesome and epic. And um, yeah, 